This is Carrington College's new Trades Education Center. This houses our HVACR, our industrial maintenance program, as well as our uh, electrical technology program, and I'd like to take you on a little tour. This is our HVACR lab, and as you can see, we have equipment sitting around that we can take apart, troubleshoot, and repair. And we have a very wide variety of equipment. We have gas-fired heating units, we have rooftop units, we have uh, walk-in coolers, we have ice makers, so a very wide variety in HVACR equipment. As you can see, we have a mock-up of an attic, and we tried to make this as real-world as we can in terms of the, the feel of what you will find in the field. Okay, this is our industrial maintenance technology lab, and in the lab, we have simulators for doing hydraulic work. Uh, we can manipulate these in any way we want to control cylinders and valves. We have our work areas here where we can do programmable logic controller labs. This is our motor controls area within the IMT program. There's 12 stations here where we can uh, wire uh, various control circuits and, and also uh, relate this to our PLC learning. And this is our electrical motor control lab. It's shared by our electrical technology program and our industrial maintenance program. In here we have 20 workstations that employ the PLCs, variable frequency controls, motor starters, transformers, push button stations, and of course the motors themselves. And we will use these in a lab environment to better understand programmable logic controllers. This is our electrical technology lab where we teach our students about the wiring methods and materials for both residential, commercial, and industrial motor controls. This is a mock-up of commercial construction uh, we'll be putting conduit and uh, MC cabling through here. This wood structure is replicating a residential facility where we can run Romex and set boxes and trim panels in our lab environment. This is an example of some of our whiteboard learning. This is a, a basic control circuit. This is a mock-up that we put together to help teach three and four-way switching, which you would find in multiple entrances into a large room or in stairwells, you can control the same light source from the top of the stair, from the bottom of the stair, or in the middle of the stair, or from various entrances into a large room. This is a workstation where we teach uh, trimming panels in a, in a commercial environment. Uh, they will actually pull the dead front off and put in circuit breakers and wire up the, the circuits as they would in the uh, commercial or industrial environment. And this is a mock-up of a service entrance uh, panel for a residential facility. And we teach our students to remove the dead front, install circuit breakers, and trim out these panels as they would in the field. The demand for skilled tradespeople in the valley is very strong, and we have employers reaching out to us now, wanting to get our students employed even on a part-time basis while they attend school, and then parlay that into a full-time position upon completion. A career in the industrial trades has provided me a very rewarding career path and I would encourage you to consider us as you make your career choices.